Hello, Year 6 Week. Welcome to Wednesday's English lesson. Today, we're looking at interpreting a text using inference and deduction. It's a, a similar lesson to the ones you've done in the past. So, uh, I want you to be able to use clues to make inferences and deductions, use evidence from a text to support your thoughts and ideas, and answer questions using the eight approach. So, you're going to read part five, chapters two, three, and four. The chapters are on Seesaw for you, so you can access them through there. Read a chapter at a time and then answer the questions that go with each chapter and make sure you provide quality answers using the APE approach. Okay, so remember that for the APE approach, you require the A, answer, P, prove with evidence, and E, explain the link between the two. Okay, so make sure all those things are put in place. And remember as well, don't use the APE approach if it's not needed. If it's a literal question and you just ask to find and retrieve information from the text, the APE approach isn't needed. Okay, so pick and choose carefully which tools you need to answer the questions effectively. Chapter two, your two, two questions to go with chapter two. Why does the writing on Maria Angelico's grave affect the boys? And why do you think that the boys do not want to open the graves? Now, I think logically, with a bit of application of your own understanding, why would somebody not want to open a grave as well? Okay, so there is a bit of evaluating and reflecting using inference and deduction based on what you know about the characters and what's going on in the story that you need to apply to this. So the eighth approach will be necessary for those two questions. Chapter three, how would the little girl be in the chapter? Oh, sorry, how could the little girl be in the chapter? And how must she feel at this point in the story? So, I'm sure, I'm fairly sure I said, how could the, who could the little girl be in the chapter, should I say? And how must she feel at this point in the story? So, the who doesn't really need an eighth approach. You could apply it, because you might want to explain why you think it could be this person. But really, it's a who question, so that's fairly literal, isn't it? Um, how must she feel at this point? You're going to need to add a bit of an eighth approach answer to that. And chapter four, which is your final chapter from today, what does Rat's reaction to Pia tell us about his character? And why is Pia Dan oh sorry, why is Pia Dante was alone written as a paragraph on its own? So there you're thinking about how the author is trying to impact. You again you're going to need that eighth approach because you're going to need to explain uh, your reasons behind why you think the author has done that. Okay. Good luck. I'm looking forward to seeing what you uh, produce from this. And I hope you enjoy it because we're really close to the end of trash. Only a couple of chapters left.